Hey guys! So today's video is primarily a Gilly Hicks haul, though there are a few items that I threw in from other stores. It is collective, so I did not buy these all at once, but rather these are my purchases throughout the past month. And one more thing, I do realize that pretty much everything I bought from Gilly Hicks is a navy color. I wasn't searching for navy or anything, but that's just how it turned out. So yeah, let's get started. I have this big bag right here, and then I'm going to show you guys this baby bag. The first thing is this hoodie. It's pretty basic, navy, hideaway front pocket, and then the GH logo right here in the front. And along the pocket it says Bondi Beach. I was never really a hoodie person, but for some reason earlier this month I really got into them. So here you can see that I cut and ripped this myself, and that's because I personally can't really handle tight or high necklines, so I cut it because it makes it more comfortable for me. I bought this during the Redline sale. It basically means that anything with a red sticker is an additional 50% off. The second thing I bought is another sweater. So you look at the front and it's actually blank. There's nothing on here except for the GH logo at the bottom. But the reason why I bought this is because of the back. This is the back and it says Gilly Hicks Girl. I just thought this was neat because I've never really seen clothes from a &F like this. It has a wide neckline because it is off the shoulder. So if I were designing this, I probably would have put a hideaway front pocket right here in the front and that is because when I wear this, I kind of feel like I'm wearing it backwards because the front has nothing on it. So I just think that adding a pocket in the front just kind of clarifies that, hey, I'm not wearing this backwards. This was a red line item, so this came out to be $14.90. The third item is a cardigan! So the main attraction here are the flowers on the left hand side. And if I bring it closer, you can see the diamond looking things. I like this velvety strip that goes down the center of the cardigan. And the sleeves are full length. This one, as well as a bunch of other cardigans, were on sale for $16.90. Alright, so that's everything that I bought from Gilly Hicks. I actually no longer work at Abercrombie Kids, especially since I left for college, but recently I was extended an offer at Gilly Hicks, so I took the interview and was accepted. One of the big differences between working at Gilly Hicks and any other a and brand store is that Gilly Hicks actually gives you their work uniform. So at a and I always had to buy the clothes, but Gilly Hicks gives you the clothes that you can wear to work. So I'm going to show you guys what they gave me right here in this little bag. What they call my position at the store is a model, but that's basically a sales associate. So I'm on the floor, I talk to customers, I take line, I fold clothes, things like that. So the clothes they give me specifically for my position are two tank tops, a skirt, and flip-flops. Though, if you work as an impact, which is someone who mainly works in the back room, you get two tank tops, jeggings, and flip-flops. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is one of the navy tank tops. This one's pretty plain, there's no lace at the bottom, but the top is actually pretty cute. The top is lined with delicate lace, and as you can see, the back here is a really cute floral lace pattern. This tank top was $17.50, which is kind of crazy. If you're looking into purchasing this tank top, I would definitely wait for it to go on sale. Okay, so for the second tank top, this one resembles the boy tank a lot more. So here it is. Again, it's pretty basic, but the top is where it's really at. You can see all the ruffles and the flowers. So, this one was $19.50. Again, if you're interested, I would probably wait for it to go on sale. Item number three. This is the skirt that I got. My manager is pretty convinced that this is currently the cutest skirt that they have. You do get to choose. There's probably around eight styles. I'm definitely more of a floral pattern person, but when I went in, there weren't very many skirts in my size, so I was limited in that way. This is a size small. I think that I fit extra small a lot better, but I needed to go one size up for the length because the extra small was just way too short. So full price, this was $39.50. 
The last thing Gilly Hicks gave me are leather flip-flops. These ones are pretty basic. On the straps, they have cute little buckles. It's branded at the heel, and it says Gilly Hicks on the bottom. These flip-flops were $29.50 full priced. Those are all the clothes that Gilly Hicks gave me for the season. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that they give you a new uniform for every major floor set or new season. So whenever they get a collection of new clothes, then I get a new uniform. Next are the few items that are not from Gilly Hicks. I bought this gray tank from Abercrombie Kids. There's nothing really on the bottom, but the top has a ton of lace. It's really cute though. This tank was on sale, but it was still $12.90. I still think that's pretty expensive, and I wish I would have gotten it on the Redline sale for an additional 50% off, but I still think it's really cute, so I think I'm going to keep it. Alright, so the last two things. So I was on the lookout for some cute knee socks, and these are the ones that I ended up finding. The first pair are these ones. The color is a cream off-whitish color and there are really cute roses on them. They're stretchy enough so that it's easy to pull over my jeans and they're long enough so that I can scrunch them right above my boots. These are the second pair. They're black and also have cute floral patterns on them. The same deal goes for this one in terms of stretchiness and length. I bought these at Macy's and the deal was $5.98 for each pair of socks or you can buy three for $14.98. I was with my mom, so she picked out a pair of socks, and we did the three for $14.98 deal. All right, guys, well, that concludes my haul video. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye.